The economic and environmental impacts of Mississippi's Restore projects on our beautiful coast are incredible. In each project, there are so many peripheral and indirect impacts that can't necessarily be seen, but are certainly there and are just as important as the direct impacts. The hidden impacts of the investments of Restore funding include increased tourism on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, a job-ready workforce that provides life-changing opportunities for Mississippians, economic development and infrastructure improvements benefiting coastal communities. All of the hidden impacts of the Restore Project support and connect the economic development and ecological restoration of our coast. So the settlement was finalized in 2016, so we're seven years into this program, and a lot of the questions that we get are, what progress has been made? A lot of the work that we've done up to this point have been on environmental restoration projects like oyster reefs and living shorelines and artificial reefs and beneficial use projects and all those kinds of things. A lot of that is not visible to the public. It's out there literally under the water in a lot of cases. It's only accessible by boat. You may not even be able to see it from the beach. Uh, and a lot of that money has been spent in those ways on projects that are very beneficial from an ecological standpoint, but it's not as tangible for the public. Similarly, a lot of the money that's been spent on economic restoration projects has flown under the radar a little bit uh, in the sense that people may see a road being built, but they may not realize that Restore Money was used to help contribute to that cause. We want to be able to show that the money that's been spent on economic development type projects, infrastructure projects, workforce development projects, that is starting to have real tangible benefits. One direct benefit of Restore Act funding is the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. The facility recently hosted its highest grossing concert in 47 years, bringing in thousands of tourism dollars to the area. Restore Act funds paid for this state-of-the-art rigging system. This system can now accommodate larger shows that bring in more tourism dollars. Shows like Kiss and Guns N' Roses. We had an old rigging system which was cabling suspended from the roof. It was an archaic way of rigging a concert production. The rigging grid through RestoreX funding was an aluminum truss system that is suspended from our steel structure. This system has allowed us to expedite rigging tremendously. Time is a big one with these large shows and these large tours. They're on a routing system. So if they can't get in and out of your building within two days into the next spot, they're gonna skip past you. So the rigging grid has allowed us to do rigs same day. Total game changer for us. The number of people attending shows have increased because of the size of the shows that we're now able to do. We can hang more weight. The shows have gotten bigger so we don't lose out and get passed over. For us to stay competitive, it was imperative that we modernized, upgraded, put amenities like a scoreboard, like the locker room, the grid, all of those things exist in the buildings that we compete against. And what we've been able to do with those funds and the projects that we've been able to complete has not only created more economic activity, more jobs, more quality of life opportunities for families here on the coast and people visiting the coast, but it will keep this building going longer and give it a longer shelf life than anyone would have ever believed. Restore Act funding is being used to provide educational opportunities to hundreds of Mississippians. The Gulf Coast Work Ready Program awards scholarships through grant funding provided by the Restore Act. 
And the great part about it is that so many of those programs are actually tuition free. And so our students are able to go through those programs tuition free where they can get those degrees, especially in the hospitality field, get those degrees in cosmetology or nail technician and all of those types of programs because those are all jobs that we need right here on the coast. And so with that Restore funding, it gives us that opportunity to continue to help South Mississippi, but not only South Mississippi, but the state as a whole to help our economy continue to grow. These tuition-free opportunities are changing lives. A lot, like, different, like night and day, night and day. It's no longer like living paycheck to paycheck, I have a budget. Things are, things are looking better, much better. So it's improved quality of life? Way much, yes, yes. Absolutely. I'm a single mother, so that changed my life completely, getting into massage therapy. So now I'm a licensed professional, it makes a difference. House down, stage up. So being able to get a scholarship and earn the money, it means a lot to me because being in a first generation Mexican household, it's very hard because you grew up wanting a lot of things that other people had. So I had to work myself two jobs to be able to pay or at least afford a bit of school and being able to be given back my hard work and a scholarship and this opportunity means a lot to me. So the structure that you see is pretty much the same logical topology that you will see within every organization. Once you design the network using the subnetting and putting that One thing we realize as an institution is every business is a tech business to some degree. There is no business that does not use computers, networks, and the like. So we thought it was important to develop a program in association with MDEQ that would have the opportunity to impact everyone. Everyone uses technology from mobile phones to computers. So the CSET program is all about that workforce, the IT workforce. We're gonna be providing, not just to the Gulf Coast, but to Mississippi in this region, a well-trained workforce that's gonna position us for an IT corridor, and ensure the safety and security of all of our businesses. So CSET and CSET Tech Fusion are all about a focus on training IT workforce for all of the business, all of the industry, and for individuals to increase their knowledge and be secure. It's helping me pay for books, helping me pay for computer equipment. It's helping me with everything involved with school. It's getting me more prepared for my next life. Basically, after school, I'm gonna be able to get a good job. I'm born and raised in Biloxi, and I love it here. I love the coast, I love the people. And there is opportunities. It is an ever-growing, changing market. And with the technology world growing and opportunities here at MGCC, pushing us into that field, we have the opportunity to stay here and still make good money. At Pearl River Community College, Restoric Funding is providing innovative educational opportunities. We have an opportunity now to be the only community college in the country that has the program that will teach students to operate unmanned vehicles, not only in the air with our drone program, but also underwater with our hydrographic technician program. Dr. Breerwood believes this Restore Act funding will change the lives of Mississippi families for generations to come. If you're a high school student, you're 18 years old, and two years later you have a chance to make $80,000, travel the world, get into a great retirement system. That will not only impact their life, uh, but the lives we believe of their, you know, their children, grandchildren, and, and really set a standard moving forward for a way of living. The school's aviation maintenance graduates are being placed in the workforce as soon as they graduate. Every day, every week, we're getting calls about our programs. When are our students gonna be graduating? To, you know, they just are tugging at, at the workforce at this point. Restore Act funding is one of the sources that helps make possible this 38,000 square foot facility that is under construction. It will house academic programs, career tech programs, and adult education programs. 
The two-story facility will have eight classrooms and six workspace areas. With the leadership that we have in this area, the leadership along the entire Mississippi Gulf Coast, our state leadership, our federal leadership all working together, we feel like not only will this facility be needed, but it'll be fully utilized for the foreseeable future. The Gulfport Biloxi International Airport is preparing to expand Mississippi's aerospace industry using Restore Act funds. We're very fortunate in South Mississippi that we've got a strong community college network that can tailor programs for the industry sector that we have. They've worked in close concert with Engel Shipbuilding on shipbuilding programs. We would envision uh, having partnership opportunities not only with Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, Pearl River Community College, and development of training programs. So it, it ranges not only from maintenance, repair, and overhaul, aviation, manufacturing, unmanned aerial vehicles, but just aviation in general. There is a major pilot shortage in the United States, and again, another career path for those that might have an interest. With this project, one, you are taking a, a site uh, and you're getting it ready for future development for potential career opportunities. Aerospace industry is a high paying sector. It's a skilled job sector and these are the type of employment opportunities you want to see for your market. If we don't have sites that are ready and you don't have something where a company can, can move in expeditiously, you can't compete. Competition in the southeastern United States is keenly uh, competitive and so we need to actually raise the standard and, and be able to do that and having the restore funding available gives us that opportunity. Restore Act funding is helping to pave the way for economic growth in the city of Moss Point. Yeah, you know, we're excited here in Moss Point to have this opportunity with the restore money because, you know, my whole understanding of government is about we got to have resources to be to provide services for our people. So this money is gonna allow us to get the infrastructure that we need so that we can develop all of that. We gotta have economic development in order to get the tax structure that we need to provide quality services. Not only is, is the Restore Act Fund gonna help us deal with infrastructure, but it also gonna help us relieve the traffic that's in that area of I-10, Highway 63. It's very congested out there now. Well, I'm not doing it by myself. You know, we got a lot of help. And the governor, DEQ, they're all helping me do this. And I appreciate every one of them for what they're doing for us. Because they know we need this help. The state of Mississippi has shown a lot of wisdom in choosing the Restore Projects. And that begins with the local community. Ultimately, as MDEQ makes recommendations to the governor, the governor is now positioned to make the best choice that comes from a grassroots effort right here on the Gulf Coast through the filter of MDEQ. And now he has the ability to make a very informed decision that's going to have the biggest impact on the economy and the environment. It's not DEQ's vision that we're helping implement. It is coastal stakeholders and coastal leaders. It's their vision and we're just happy to be able to help facilitate it. And if we can help fulfill their vision by helping fund a portion of a project or one project that's a piece of a bigger puzzle, then we've done some good. We're implementing projects that not only benefit the economy, but the ecology. And so, to me, they go hand in hand. If you have a healthy ecology or environment, then the economic benefits can be there and, and vice versa. A lot of times the, the projects that make the most impact may not be something you can see from the beach, but they're there and they're having an, an impact to day-to-day -day lives of people that live on the coast. Those hidden gems are having that impact on the ecology, the, the animals, the seafood, the things that we love the most about the Gulf Coast. There's fantastic work being accomplished by some really incredible people, whether they work for us or they partner with us 
on the Gulf Coast with the goal in mind of restoring the Gulf Coast economy and ecology, if not back to where it was, better than it was before Deepwater Horizon happened.